Welcome to my beloved series that I do every year, my 24 tags of Christmas. And today we're going to be looking at some really traditional color combinations for the Christmas season because we use those a lot. And I thought it'd be a good thing to talk about. And this is one of my favorites for this. Now notice there's no G's. They're all Y G's. That's because the G's I am not a big fan of. There's just not a lot of really great colors in there. They seem very garish to me and very cartoonish. And I would rather something that look a little more like the kind of greens I see around me. Maybe I'm jaded because I live in Washington state where it's very, very green. We are the evergreen state, but I'm using a YG03, nice and bright, a YG67, which is darker and desaturated, and a YG17. And that combination has a really nice jump from really lightest to really darkest, and then the YG17 in the middle. The YG03 and YG17 are probably the two colors that I re-ink the most because I do a lot of scenes. A lot of them have greens in them, and those tend to be some of the colors that I use pretty often for them. For her sleeves and for her stockings that she has on, I'm going to start with the mid-tone green so that the dress is the part that has the light green on it. And these other two only have two color shading. They're not as important to try to get right. I often will say if you nail it on one part of your coloring, if you make the dress look nice and realistic, like it's got some dimension in it, you don't have to worry about doing quite so much with the rest of the image because you've convinced people when they see the main portion of the image. So whatever the main portion is, focus on that and do that really well. And the rest of it, you can kind of let go. For reds, an R24, R89, and R37 are a great combination. The R89 and R37 work with a bunch of other lighter reds. So you can use an R14, R17. You know, if you want a more of a warm tone to it, you can go for the R05, R08, something like that. But for traditional Christmas coloring, these are ones that I like. And then, of course, I had to have a yellow combination in there. And yes, I do use a V04. And the reason for that is it's a complementary color. And with yellows, you get kind of some weird brownishness if you try to use a brown for a dark tone in there. And a V04, when you go over it, especially with a YR04, gives you a nice, brighter kind of color. And here, I'm not even in the star going to go over it with any orange at all. So those are my standard go-to colors for Christmas coloring. And I'm going to finish up the skin and hair with some very standard colors as well. Well, standard if you have purple as one of your standards for skin tones, because I like that. But I want to talk to you about the giveaway. Every year, this is my most popular series, possibly because I do a giveaway. I give away the tags. So you've seen it created here on YouTube, and you might get one in the mail. I choose from the... YouTube comments as well as the blog comments. So you can comment on both if you want to double your chances. Make sure after it's over, give me a day or two, and then I will post the winners on my blog. I always have some people who don't claim their, their winner, winnings. I always have tags left over. So don't forget, all right? So finishing up the coloring here, and I wanted to give her a base to stand on, just something on the tag. And a nice simple block of R37 worked really well for that to just anchor it and put some twine up on the top, some leather twine, and that's it. I will see you guys again next time, like tomorrow with the next tag. So join me back here for another one. See you then.